What up? This is Robert Ory. Ory, three pointer. There is it. You might know me as Big Shot Bob. So Ory for three. Oh, unbelievable! This guy is off the charts. What's going on, Big Shot Bob? Robert Ory from downtown. All right, let's do this one more time this week. It is the Big Shot Bob podcast. B Dog, Brandon Harper. I'm Rob Jenner's. That is seven-time NBA champion, 1992 NBA draft selection, Robert Ory. <laughs> I bring that up for a reason, B Dog. While we're introducing the show, I need you to Google Robert Ory's 1992 draft photo, okay, with his big ass oversized suit. Uh, so just go ahead and look that up because that's going to be our first question out of the gate. From a listener. Let, 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 let here, dog. You know, you ain't got no money, man. You no, 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 no. No one's making fun. No one's <laughs> we're making a little bit of fun, but not not terrible fun. We're not picking on you. Uh, by the way, if you ever have a question for the shoot around, we got a bunch of good ones this week. Uh, we're at Big Shot Bob Pod on Twitter and on Instagram. Uh, Big Shot Bob Pod at Gmail. Hey. You can find us all over the place. Hey, make uh, sure you check out the penny loafers, though. So I don't, I don't, I didn't see the penny loafers in the photo. I just, I just had the. Well, I do see this. I had the. Okay, that's the one. Yeah. That's the photo we're looking for. And by the way, if you want to play along at home, uh, you can Google Rob's NBA draft photo from 1992. Hey, the crazy part is that was a double-breasted suit and double-breasted back in. So if I, it is. if I wasn't 500 pounds more now than I was, I would find that suit and put it on again. Put it on right now. And to be honest, the suit. It, it really don't look as bad as some other suits I've seen. Like Michael, okay. I've seen Michael Jordan in some suits, and I'm like, bro. So the question's yeah. not about the suit. Okay. The question comes from Big Chris, a good friend of the show, regular listener. Uh, I'm watching a lot of draft stuff, and I Googled a Rob on NBA Draft Day. Uh, as the NFL draft is currently happening, does Rob regret going with that tie? <laughs> and the tie is, it's something. The tie, the tie is the tie is something. Special. The suit doesn't look okay. So now explain the tie. Uh, man, the tie was the only one I had. So oh, I just threw it off. That was it. Hey, <laughs> hey, the funny part though you is couldn't you know, buy you a tie. I was the only one back then. That, look, I went with the black shirt with the suit. People weren't doing that back then. I was a trendsetter, oh, man. I <laughs> wow. did that. Okay. And then All I right. figured I had to go with some tie to pop, you know, match the suit, you know. So Got I went jump. with that, man. Okay. Yeah. So. And I, right. I was very proud of it. Think about this. this is a, I was a baller on a budget. <laughs> and I ain't have no budget. <laughs> I had two suits in college, and that was budget. one of them. Oh, <laughs> that's, not, that's the name of this week's show. For, for, <laughs> for, for it being 1992? No, nah, that ain't bad at all. Okay. Well, look, and I didn't ask the question. The, and this is before. Now, if you go to draft, you have freaking tailors waiting there for you, and you oh, design no, your yeah. own suit. Yeah, this yeah. was like, okay, what I got in the closet that might look okay on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like I just woke up. You know exactly. I mean? All right. All I, was, right. I, was, I was just happy it was pressed. <laughs> so uh, that's all the prep that went through it? You had, you had one suit, you had one tie, you're just going to roll with it? Yeah, that was it, man. When's the last you know? time you – when's the last time – how often do you wear a suit now? Well, only TV? when I have to do TV. That's it. True. When's yeah. the last time you but, wore a suit, B? Um, last time I wore a suit it had to be recently, and I mean, we're like within the last couple of months or so. I forget what it was. Okay. I think it was like a birthday gathering or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not to bring the room down. My dad's funeral, uh, mm -hmm. back in well, we had his, his kind of celebration of life in November, and mm -hmm. prior to that, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a tie on maybe to take my daughter out for like daddy daughter night or something but yeah, yeah like wearing a yeah. suit no man no oh sneaker ball i had to host the one that rob signed the basketballs for and they went off in an auction oh okay. A suit. yeah okay. only time i ever saw you in a suit b was when we went to the chicken shack grand opening uh, oh, in, in yeah, Vegas, Vegas. Right? Shaq yeah, opened Chicken Shack and Grand Opening. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going no, somewhere Just like a regular dive restaurant <laughs> Chicken Shack. <laughs> I, I thought, thought I went to a, I, I wore a suit to go get some chicken. No. <laughs> I thought you were making I, a joke going somewhere I, with that. No. We went to the opening of Big Chicken in Vegas when Shaq opened Big Chicken. And yeah, that was like 2018. I remember, remember B wore a suit and I was like, damn, you look good. I got on some like busted ass jeans jeans and like a <laughs> like a suit jacket trying to look like the casual look I'm like, oh Yo. and i wore a suit uh you didn't go on this trip when it oh, was the me tonight and... show yes i wore a suit then yeah they they all got to go to the tonight show to meet jimmy fallon i didn't i didn't go yeah I was, I was in the hospital i had a heart attack uh so i didn't get to go to that trip so. hey that way 
Glad you still with this. Yeah, yeah man. So, uh, yeah, you can wear a suit to my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, we didn't bring this up on Tuesday. I had a bunch of people send this to me. You guys didn't talk about the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, coach, coach Chris Finch tearing his knee yeah. on the sideline during the Suns game. Meniscus. Uh, yeah, he, uh, I can't remember who it was, Conley or somebody crashed into yeah. him yeah. Uh, down on the sidelines, and he went down in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was Mike Conley um, and Devin Booker, and they confirmed he ruptured his patellar tendon patellar in his tendon. right yeah, knee, yeah. and uh, it could take up to several months to heal. Apparently, he's supposed to have injur- uh, surgery yeah. between rounds. Yeah. And uh, then he's going to have to get out there and, I guess, coach on a – on a bum uh, wheel. Bum My thing is, in a, in a during the playoffs, so many guys, you know, you look for motivation and so many things to inspire you. This is just another form of inspiration for the for the Minnesota Timberwolves because now, even whether coach is there or whether he's not, now we can do this for coach. You know, when's the last time a coach really got <laughs> severely injured in a basketball game on the sideline? That doesn't happen often. No, not really. So now nah, it's another motor. It's another sense of piece of motivation for this young team to, to use moving forward. Rob, did you ever have a coach get injured? Mm, no, <laughs> coach. That's, that's, a, that's a first jump timer. out the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the dumbest injury you remember getting? Like doing something real stupid, like jump, <laughs> like jumping off a deck. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. I never, I, I never, <laughs> stupid ass injury. I, 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 other, than, other than kicking your toe or something like that, I, I've okay. never had a, a dumb injury. You never had like a slip and fall in the bathroom or something? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, uh-uh. man. I, I jacked my shoulder up once doing that. I got oh, out no. of the shower and tile floor. Just shit, bam, down on my shoulder. Ooh. And I mean, I was, I was, yeah, I was crooked for a minute. That was years ago, but ooh, no mm. fun. Uh, question from Nick. Lots of teams around Major League Baseball are rolling out their City Connect jerseys. Yeah. I know the NBA does City Editions. Rob, did they do that in your day? Um, and if not, whose now do you like the best? Hell no, they ain't do that in his day. I'm like, no, I it's kind of a hey, newer thing. We were, hey, we were very strict. You could only have two jerseys. And then they had to, and your shoes had to have only two colors in them. Everything was strict when I played. Bro, but yeah. City you only had two jerseys? Yeah, yeah home I, didn't away. Re- I didn't realize that. The white one and the red one, right? That was it? Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the Lakers, we only had purple and gold. And then the first first extra jersey we got was with was the, white um, one? the Lakers. We went Sunday whites. Yeah. yeah. So, but then I got to San Antonio, went with the um, uh, low spurs and those jerseys and the yeah, throwback those jerseys. Yeah, started to pop up. Yeah. yeah, that started to pop up. But, um, yeah, I think for me, it's – there's – the, my favorite is, is the Mamba jerseys. I think you know out of all the jerseys I've seen, there's. I hated the shirt. I hated the, the shirt with the sleeves. Oh, yeah, the one with the, the jerseys with the sleeves on them. Yeah, I hated that. They I ran those around for like Christmas, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I think it was one of the Christmas teams too. Like it had a really cool jersey. I think it was the Heat. Yeah. The white out jerseys. Yeah, yeah, the Heat's they, not bad though. I like yeah. the old school fluorescent Heat ones. The ones that are like that, like they're like a turquoise almost. Oh, yeah. And they got the Miami written on them and like the fluorescent. Yeah. I think that's cool, the, the, man. Those look sharp. The Miami Vice ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. very Miami yeah. Vice style. They're yeah. cool, though. I like those. Yeah. B, do you have a favorite? Favorite jersey? Like a like a City Connect or a City Edition? Or I do. I like the Lakers Hollywood Knights jerseys where it was the it's the black with the, with the black jersey with the yellow trim around it. Okay. Uh, I think they called them the Hollywood Knights jersey. Yeah. Yeah, the Lakers black looks cool. Yeah. Um, we also found out this week that Tyson versus uh, Jake Paul is actually going to be a real fight. We all thought this I was going right? to be kind of a weird scrimmage and something. Oh, one more. Oh, go ahead. One more. Uh, the Hawks, a couple of years ago, where they had the Peachtree jerseys. Oh, the Peachtrees were cool. And the MLK ones. Yeah, Peachtrees were yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, those are the ones. Um, No, but uh, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is going to count. It's a sanctioned fight, so it'll go on their records. They're, they're professional records. Uh, it'll consist of eight two-minute rounds. They're going to wear 14-ounce gloves instead of the regular 10-ounce gloves. And no headgear. What? No headgear. So it's going to be a legit fight. Boy, it, um, might, it might get him one good. And that's So that was my question. What, what, what do you think prevails here? Is it going to be Tyson's just power and experience, or Jake Paul win, can outrun him, basically? 
I think that one. I really think Jake if Jake Paul knows the power of Mike, even Mike with 55, 53, whatever it is. Yeah, he's in his fifties. He still got a lot of power. And you're gonna know it's gonna boil down to stamina. And he's just gonna you know, jab and run. He's gonna do the rope of dope. He's gonna do yep. everything to try to wear Mike out. Because you think about Mike's last time we saw Mike in the ring with um Roy. Oh, he was gassed quick. He was gassed quick. I think quick. by the third round, he yeah, was torched, yeah. man. Yeah, but I think he's in a little bit better shape than then, even though he's older. I, but I, I I, don't want to see Mike get hurt. When he's is the too fight? Old for this. Uh, it's over the summer. I think it's in June or July. Okay. Yeah, it's coming up. But I was surprised they actually sanctioned the fight. Yeah, I was surprised about like it, Like that that's going to count on their records. Cause, and, and look, if Jake Paul's smart, he gets nowhere near Mike. Because Mike up close is lethal. And you've seen Mike hit those bags, and I mean, dude, he's he's quick and he's powerful. It's so old yeah, man you do strength. exactly what Rob said. You uh-huh. jab and run, man. You keep your distance. <laughs> yeah, come, you gotta come get my ass back here, buddy. Uh huh. Yep. I'm gonna I'm shuffle for about three yeah. rounds. I'm gonna fully Mayweather this thing, man. I'm just gonna run in circles, run in circles. Come get me, Bucko. Because I'm gonna tell you this right now. Let Mike catch you one time with oh. an uppercut. Hey, you might look. It's gonna be some, it's gonna be some slow singing and flower bringing. <laughs> it, When's hey. the last time Jake Paul wore a suit uh, to his own funeral? Yeah, my goodness, yeah, no, you're right. Mike catch you once. That is that is it. But yeah, I think that's who's the trick. Who's been the though. toughest? Who's been the actual like toughest competitor that Jake Paul's faced? Oh, he fought someone that was sort of for real recently. I can't remember who it was. I don't follow yeah. boxing that much. I don't yeah. follow Jake Paul um, a whole lot. Like yeah, that, I don't. Either. I mean, like most of the guys he's fought up until a couple dudes recently have been kind of lower tier dudes. Um, you know, look, I mean, he's a good boxer from. And I've, again, you're talking to somebody who's watched highlights. But from what I've seen highlights wise, he's got good form. He's got good power. He seems to be in, in good shape. He's young. He's strong. So I don't know. I really don't know. I've never sat and watched a whole fight, but um, yeah. I don't think he's fought anybody of the caliber. And even Mike Tyson in his fifties, still Mike Tyson. You know exactly. what I mean? Like he's you still, you still, power. yeah. You got. I mean, if he catches you, like B said, good night. Call it. A uh, quick question here from Charlie. Uh, I saw TMZ doing some special where Arnold and Stallone sat down for an interview together, which got me thinking: Who's the best action hero actor of all time? Is it Stallone, Arnold, or somebody else? Who's your favorite? Or maybe who's your favorite? Maybe not who's the best. Who's your favorite action it, hero? It, it, you know, it's funny. I, you know, because you know how much I love Die Hard. I but love Die Hard. I love Die Hard. I, 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 this is going to sound weird, but I'm going with Jackie Chan. That doesn't <laughs> sound weird. I, I, I love Jackie Chan's like a hell Rush, of an action Rush hero. Hour. I yeah. love Jackie Chan, man. You know, for him to do all his stunts. You oh, know, yeah. so I, I, I'm gonna go with Jackie Chan. Okay. Oh, dang! This is a tough one. Because I mean, I would even put Denzel in this conversation. Dang! Now that we've expanded it, yeah. You know what I mean? Because even you know the equalizers <laughs> and you. stuff, man. Those. And that's some of that. Even is even a little bit more realistic because it ain't even like he used like. He used home appliances. Oh yeah, he, he lit that dude up in a Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um. I'll put um, I'll name a few. Uh, Wesley Snipes was dope. Oh man, you're Blade. right. Wesley Snipes at the height of like Passenger Fifty Seven, Blade. Blade. Those when he had that stretch. Yeah, yeah you're right. Um, I got to throw another New one Jack in there. City. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson was good in Taken. Yeah. But all of his movies were the same. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same movies. <laughs> but he excelled in all <laughs> in of all them, <laughs> being the same guy. <laughs> Yeah, no, like for me, it's yeah, same thing. You know, what I mean, like Liam Neeson in the first Taken. Yeah, but then the Takens got ridiculous. Yeah, they toward did. the end, they just yeah. felt so like he continues to have people in his family get taken. I'm like, how about Vin Diesel? <laughs> yeah, for no, not for me. Not for <laughs> I know you. I've never it seen a Fast and Furious one. movie, so I you've can't never even. Seen I can't one. even come. I've seen Chronicles of Riddick. That's a badass movie. Uh, yeah. Underrated badass movie, Chronicles of Riddick. What about The Rock? Oh shit! I didn't even think about him. <laughs> the lightning, a little thunder. <laughs> yeah, but like Rock's done more. I mean, it's it's not so much action; it's like action comedy. I mean, because did... everything he does with Kevin Hart, it seems like you no. Know? But he did Central Intelligence. He did Jumanji Scorpion and a uh, Scorpion King. King yeah, yeah. And Scorpion King, which was kind of ridiculous. Right? Yeah, it was. Um, but then you you forget this is this we forget the short guy Tom Cruise. 
Oh, in Mission Impossible? Dude, that Mission man Impossible? drove a motorcycle off a cliff like six times in one day <laughs> oh! for that stunt. And I'm like, he did that shit for real. No, we're forgetting somebody. Okay. Ooh, Keanu yeah. Reeves. Yes. We are oh, forgetting Keanu the, the Reeves. Hey. John Wick alone. <laughs> John Gets Wick alone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, take, I take all of them back. I, this is my number one action guy, Jason. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. This is my that Statham. That's how you said. Jason that's Statham. My, that's badass, my man. number one. That's okay. my number one. Okay. You know, he yeah. was just in a movie. Did you see The Beekeeper? new one i haven't seen it yet uh-uh. it's it's classic statham mm-hmm. it's yeah. like they they threw out all the bitty stuff and they were like hey just go like kill everybody and mm-hmm. he just man he goes nuts um, all right what's the one where he just drives the car oh he's the transporter that one yeah that, transporter's that, good transporter's both those of them the transporter too yeah. there's a couple of them mm-hmm. yeah they're they're very good so, man i see for me i'm one. so old school though i have a hard time getting away from arnold schwarzenegger yeah. The Terminators. I mean, the Terminators, Commando, Predator. I mean, he yeah. did so many like iconic action. I mean, Predator alone. You know, get to the chopper. I just it's everything <laughs> you, about. You, you just like that State Farm commercial. Yo, the Java. State Farm commercial is good. Get to the chopper. This is a chopper. That's what I said. Yeah, the chopper. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, last question for me, and I'm. So, gonna... is there a number? Who's your number one female? Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, that's, that's tougher than them male. I'm gonna say Zoe one. Saldana. Yeah, she's you up like there. Zoe. Okay, Zoe's good. I yeah, like Zoe, Zoe Saldana's too. good. Just oh, um, Colombiana's great. Um, uh, this, this she's is, awesome in Guardians and Infinity Wars. What's my girl name? I, I, I'm going with my girlfriend. Who? Who's that? Charlize. Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Yeah. Mm, is she in action? Yeah. Yes. You forget from the um, that one where they can't get killed, where she uh, that action one. Um, you forget Mad Max. You know she's Mad doing Max a lot of good. action. Mad Max. Yeah. Is good. What about Angelina Jolie? Yeah, Angelina is good. Tomb Raiders. She, yeah, she did all the Tomb Raiders. She did the Mister and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all. She's the time, done a few baby. other things too. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's been, okay. Halle Berry. Ogar is an Ogar is the movie I'm talking about with her in. Ogar. Halle Berry was a badass in John Wick Three, with the dogs. Man. Just put her. You need a dog. You can just go. Heis, heis, and the dog can like fucking murder somebody. Hey, yeah. you, no, it's the one where they 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 take the bus and go all across L.A. when she's laying there like this. Oh, swordfish. Swordfish. Yeah, you're talking about swordfish. Yeah, just that scene. They, yeah. No, the scene when she's hitting the golf ball is more sexy oh, than her the laying scene, there with yeah, a pop the golf off balls. To me. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's <laughs> top tier. Rob's gonna need a break. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta turn, uh, turn the feet uh, off. All right, yeah. um, mm-hmm. last. I'm gonna give you the question first, and then I'm gonna tell you this mm-hmm. very, very, very uncomfortable story. Uh oh. Um, what is something you listened to as a young kid, or watched as a young kid that you knew you weren't supposed to? Oh, this is easy. Okay, now let me tell you the story while you think on your answer, even though B already has his answer. <laughs> My daughter comes up to me the other day. Oh lord. My beautiful 11 year old daughter. And she says, Daddy, I have a question for you. But it has a bad word. I said, your question has a bad word? She goes, yeah, it's something that I know is a bad word, but I don't understand it. I said, okay. um, Free pass. What's your question? She goes, Daddy, what's whiskey dick? Oh, that's not what I... Okay. And Uh, I went, where... What? Ha... Where's the bad word, whiskey or dick? (laughs) (laughs) The whole thing. I think she knows that, yeah. So, but I'm like, where did you hear this? How do you, what? And she goes, well, I saw that there's a new Wolverine movie. (laughs) She watched the Deadpool trailer. Uh, And now my daughter has gotten big into Marvel. Like mm. she's watched all the Marvel movies. So the minute she saw Marvel Wolverine, she was like, oh, there's a new Wolverine movie coming out. And, of course, the Wolverine trailer, Deadpool and Wolverine, the first thing he says is whiskey dick with the claws when the claws mm-hmm. don't come out right mm-hmm. away. And he goes, it happens to a lot of Wolverines over 40. Uh, so I had to have that horribly uncomfortable conversation <laughs> with my daughter talking about, well, you know, sweetheart, when men drink, uh, <laughs> sometimes you know what? Let's talk about this when you're forty. Let's just go yeah. let's readdress this when you're like forty years old, and, and not a day sooner. Not a day sooner. But she watched like five, uh, like a maybe 
20 or 30 seconds of the trailer before realizing this is not for her <laughs> and mm. turned it off. That's but funny. what's something you watched or listened to as a kid that you knew was not for you? Um, was I a kid? I probably was more of a close. Well, I know mine. We used to sneak in and listen to the Richard Pryor albums that my grandfather had, oh, and we weren't supposed to. So good. So that's my only one. That's that. So that that's the best. <laughs> I, I say, um, BET Uncut, like during the time where they had Nelly's Tip Drill video, <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and they had the credit card being slid down the girl. <laughs> he did it. He did the credit card slide. <laughs> Oh, yeah. my we used to stay up and wait for BET oh, and cut. Oh. <laughs> Man, I loved it. Mine was I used to have a cassette tape. This is how old I am of Eddie Murphy's Delirious mm. when I was in like fifth or sixth grade, where it's not appropriate for a fifth or sixth grader. But I had labeled it like best of mix or some like Rob songs, just so if my mom saw it, she wouldn't trash it immediately. Uh, but yeah, I had Eddie so, Murphy delirious. See, we same boat. Yeah, when listening to I Richard Pryor old albums was like the best, man. And George see, you Carlin. Like, you said cassette tape. I said album. Oh, you had an album. Yeah, <laughs> you had album. Yeah, you had an album. Uh, yeah, Put the needle no. on the record. Put the needle on the record. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know what that is anymore. Don't do that. Don't do that. 